I want to know how to fix a Kenmore Elite refrigerator. If it has problems cooling, the first things to check are the condenser coils for dirt. I rarely even clean the fridge, much less the outside of it. The evaporator motor could be dead. That would be kind of obvious from the silence. If you hear clicking when it tries to start the compressor and condenser, you'd need to replace the start relay. Then Kenmore Elite fridges don't use starting capacitors. Nope. If you get the IF error on the Kenmore Elite fridge, you need to replace the fan. Which one? I think it has several. IF is the error for the ice compartment cooling fan not working, so you don't get ice production. The IF error is so common and the fan failure so frequent they now sell replacement fans with a heating element in it. I'm worried enough about the defrosting heater, and you're telling me that it needs another source of heat. The ice buildup can also occur because the defrosting heater is dead or the freezer drain for the melt is blocked, so the melt water just refreezes. I can clean the drain by injecting it with hot water in a turkey baster. Assuming it isn't clogged by food debris instead. I also haven't been getting ice. Put water in the ice mold, and if it freezes and harvests the ice right, you know the issue is the water supply. I've already checked to see if there's ice in the water delivery tube. It could be a clogged water valve too, unless there's a water leak. A water leak bad enough to prevent water getting to the ice maker would have me asking you how to stop a water leak. Not changing the water filter could cause it to stop sending water to the ice maker and water dispenser. In order to prevent a major water leak as it tries to push water through a dirty screen. Kenmore Elite fridges have a water filter indicator light. If you've changed the filter, hold down the light and lock buttons for around 5 seconds to turn it off. If you haven't changed the filter, you know why the light is red. What if the light isn't red or green, but off? Power cycle the fridge to reset the control board, call for someone to replace the LED light bulb or ask someone to replace the control board. Or I just put a reminder on the calendar to replace the water filter every 6 months. Control boards are expensive. Just remember that if you call for service, they'll tell you a day plus or minus a couple hours but arrival will be plus or minus a day or two. Given the cost of a new control board, paying extra for fast service is nothing.